Hi all, welcome back to System Verilog Sessions. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about System Verilog Strings. The agenda is, in this session, I'll be discussing the strings and examples such as how to declare and how to initialize the strings and string literals and string operators, basic string methods and string conversion methods. Okay, let's start with the string data type. The string is a data type which is not present in the Verilog, but System Verilog provides a string data type to store the characters. Okay, to store the characters or group of characters. A string data type is an ordered collection of characters. Like array we have C. It's a collection of homogeneous elements, right? Array is a collection of homogeneous elements. Like, a, like that, string is also an ordered collection of characters. And the length of a string variable is the number of characters in the collection, which can have the dynamic length. For example, in array, we have fixed size array. That means the size is fixed, which cannot change. And when we come to the dynamic array, the size is dynamic, right? So it can be set or changed during the runtime simulation. Similarly, the string uh, length is depends on the number of characters. Okay, the size will be measured in terms of how, how many characters it has. Based on that, we will tell the, the length. Okay, so it is dynamic in length. Then how are string represented in Verilog? We know that in Verilog, we don't have the string data type, right? So then how we used to represent the string data? By using the reg data type. Reg 15 star 8 minus 1 down to 0. So we know that reg data type is used to store the data. It will hold the data, right? So we use the reg data type. But here we have to mention the width. Here 15 star 8 minus 1 down to 0 means. Why here 8 is multiplied? Because each character will take the 8 bits or 1 byte. So here you have to mention how many uh, characters you want to store. That many type of uh, bits you have to take, okay? 15 star 8 means 15 characters you can store. And here you can see hi everyone very log strings. We can override the string in the runtime. Okay. So hi everyone is of 11 length. And very log strings is a 15. Okay. Which has a 15 um, characters. So here you can print as it is. So if the reg width, reg data type width is greater than the string width, then it will uh, um, it will add zeros to the leftmost side or MSB side it will add zeros. Okay. When reg, reg width has a uh, reg width is more than the string width. That time it will add 0 to the leftmost side. Leftmost side of the string. So if the reg width is smaller than the string width. Then the leftmost side bits will be truncated. Here you will not get the. Uh, you, here you will lost the, some characters. When reg width is smaller than the string width. Okay. This thing you have to remember in Verilog. But in when, when, you, when you come to the. Uh, system Verilog, there is no such problem. Okay, you can store uh, many number of characters. There is no limit. It depends on the um, how uh, depends on the implementation. Okay, simulation environment. It depends on the uh, your requirement. So now we will see the syntax. I already told string variable name. String is a data type name. Variable name is the the variable which where you will store the string. This is example string str. str is the variable name of that data type, string data type. Here you can store. So by default, it will take the empty string. Okay. Before you initialize the string, it will take empty string. So before we go into discuss string operators, first we will see the initialization and declaration. Okay. Here I have an example for declaration and initialization of the strings okay i have an reg data type string data type and bit data type reg 0 down to 15 star 8 minus 1 or you can write uh, reg 15 down, 15 star 8 minus 1 down to 0 anything you can write okay that means we are storing 15 characters we can store up to 15 characters okay here i am taking one empty string string is not in initial begin i am uh, storing i am initializing the uh, value to the string variable okay this is a reg data type s Okay, S is the variable of the reg data type. I'm storing how are you doing. So how are you doing is our 7 characters. But we are using only 15 characters. That means reg width is less than the string width. That time what, what will happen? The truncation will happen. Truncation of the leftmost bits. Left, uh, left side of the characters. Here we, it will take only 12 characters. Okay. It will take only 12 characters. That means H and O will be truncated. First, I will run the code. We can compare it with the result. 
here this H and O will be truncated. It will take only 15 characters, okay? And the leftmost bits will be truncated. Here you can see W are you doing? Not H O is not printing. It is already truncated. So after that, I'm overriding it with the hello world. And one thing is, whenever we want to store something, we have to include it in the double quotes only, always, okay? Whether it is a single character or group of characters, it should be in the double quote. Hello world is there, which is of 11 characters. Anyway, we are storing 15. That means reg width is greater than the string width. That time, it will add the zeros to the leftmost bit of the string. Okay, it, it has already added zeros. So, we can uh, print as it is. Hello world, we are printing. Okay. So, now we will see the, this is how we do in Verilog this reg data type by using the reg data type. Now we come to the system Verilog string. Here S0 is an empty string. I have not initialized it yet. So I'm printing the S0 value. Since it is a, uh, I have not initialized, it is empty string. You are not getting anything. Okay, this is an empty string. After that, I'm initializing the value hello world. Okay, it is of 11 characters. So it is printing hello world. Okay. Or you can take um, many numbers, many characters. Okay. Uh, hello world. Now I'll run. It's greater than 15, right? See. No truncation, nothing. It will take any number of characters. Okay. After this is about concatenation of string. Whenever we want to perform concatenation, we have to include it in the curly braces, okay, with the uh, comma. Comma, it will separate the uh, characters, okay. Here, hi is one thing. In double um, in double quote, we have, we have to include the string, hi. And comma will separate each, the, uh, each string, okay. Here, one space is there. Space means nothing is there. In double limited comma, we have to, the space we have to mention. And after one comma is there, I'm including on S string. S is nothing but hello world. So what it will print? Hi, comma, and one space, and hello world. Here you can see, hi, comma, one space, hello world. Okay. After that, I'm, I have taken already one bit data type here to store the number. Okay, I'm storing 128 to the bit and I'm assigning that bit to the string. You can directly write also, then no problem. Okay, but I'm, st I'm showing b is equals to 128 and I'm assigning b to the string. So it sets 120, 128 to s0. Here we will get 128. I'm getting 128. So this is one string literal. How we can assign the value to the string. Okay. Value is nothing but a group of characters here. Okay. S0 is equals to welcome to VLSI channel. Practice at the end of the session. Here you have to focus this backslash. It is what it will do is it will go to the next line. Here you uh, sometimes you you have a more number of characters more um, group of characters that time if you want to go to the next line for readability purpose or whatever for, um, most of the time we will use this for readability purpose okay so this backslash will go to the next line so if you don't use this backslash it will not take see the color has changed right so it, this is not this is in, this is not the correct form so you have to use the backslash then you can move to the next line but this will not affect in um, the display statement like uh, uh, in display statement if you write slash n backslash n it will go to the next line right in display statement so like this in representation but it but it will not go to the next line in the display statement okay that's the one thing you have to remember only when you are assigning the value to the string and if you are using this backslash at the end of the uh, sentence it will go to the next line see here In the single line I'm, I'm getting right at the end of the session all the best here if you mention one space it will take one space after that same will be continued see here one space right one space came 
here so this is how we can initialize or declare the strings now we will see the string operators 